All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be taking a quick look at a game called Kaboom. This is a free-to-play first-person shooter. It's very similar to Counter-Strike. It's almost like a clone of Counter-Strike, except the graphics are not up to par. It looks a lot like Minecraft, um, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's cross-platform between mobile and PC, which is kind of interesting. Um, before I begin, I will mention that the developers did send me the DLC, which is like, premium guns and uh, skins and such and I, I guess I can show you what it gives me uh, so for like three dollars which I didn't pay for by the way um, you get a bunch of skins and you also get three premium weapons which is this LMG here which is pretty overpowered I'll show you that in a second and you also get um, the Barrett and Desert Eagle unlocked they're not they're not premium, but you just automatically unlock them. And you also get the Scar and the Scar Assault Rifle and the Striker. Um, so I guess that's all there is. There's a bunch of different like skins and stuff. You can change your character. Um, there's also like crates that you can open. Let's open a few. Uh, open for fifteen hundred dollars. Holy crap! <laughs> if that was like real money, if that just like instantly got taken from my like PayPal account, that would be terrible. Um, but it gives you like it gave me like fifty thousand dollars to start with, so that's interesting. Um, so I just got a AK forty seven skin. That looks kind of cool, kind of like a Soviet style. Um, so I guess we'll open like maybe one more. Let's open a sniper rifle one. So it kind of mimics Counter Strike Global Offensive. Whoa, <laughs> I actually like that one too. Um, in many different ways, as you can see. Um, so let's go ahead and go back, and then let's go to... Wait, we have to go... Uh, equipping skins is kind of strange. If I go to my assault rifle now, it's not like the skin isn't equipped. You actually have to go to like the weapon store, and then you have to go to assault rifle, and then you have to find your assault rifle. Uh, where the heck is it? Where is the AK? Must be all the way over here. Okay, here it is. And then you have to change the skin in here. There we go. Let's also change that sniper rifle skin. Was it for this one? I'm not sure if it was. Yeah, here it is. Kind of a cool looking Christmas themed one. Um, but yeah, I'll stop rambling. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into a game. There's a lot of people playing as it is cross-platform. For some reason, this says 54 out of 24. Let's see if we can join it. Probably not. It seems like it's way over capacity. Uh, let's play on this one. So the good thing is there's always servers and there's always uh, people playing. So we'll join this team and I'm using my new AK, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm on blue team. Let me uh, just sit back for just a second. Okay. I've never played on this map so I'm just uh, looking around making sure that I can uh, know where I'm going. There's a guy way over there. But yeah, I'm not the greatest with like mouse and keyboard shooters, by the way, so forgive me. And we killed each other. <laughs> wow. Uh, let me switch weapons. Let me switch to my overpowered LMG machine gun. This thing is crazy. Uh, it has a hundred like mag like a hundred ammo in the magazine, and it just destroys people from like almost any distance. Because it just you can just shoot it like crazy. But I got double team there. <laughs> And the premium weapons in the top right corner, uh, they do show up as gold, um, so other people will know it's a premium weapon, I guess. But yeah, I can just like spray from above and sometimes I'll get kills. Yeah, someone's shooting over here, I saw their bullets. Right, let's go around, I'll maybe reload. I might drop down, yeah, let's drop down here. There's a lot of different maps, and they're all like Minecraft style maps. I could maybe try to snipe. This would be a good map to try to snipe on. Okay, go home and dead. Uh, Alright, let's try to use the sniper rifle. I do have a Barret, and let's see. There it is. I think this is the best sniper rifle in the game. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. Maybe we can get a few kills if I look out the window. Looks like someone might be coming up this hole. Oh wait, I'm right team. No, I'm not. Blue team. Shot him right in the head, right? 
Did I not shoot him in the head? <laughs> this thing's really powerful. Okay, I'm just gonna stay like back here and I'm just gonna wait for him. Looks like they're all dead. Oops. Again, I'm not the greatest. Maybe I can like hide in this corner. I didn't kill that guy. <laughs> Looked like Man, that took a long time to register. <laughs> yeah, I shot him in the head and then it took like two seconds for it to show headshot. It's a pretty good spot. I haven't really noticed I'm over here yet. I only have one bullet left with the sniper though. It only gives you ten shots with the Barret, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I think you can buy ammo packs. I'm not sure though. Uh, this Desert Eagle, it I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that if you shoot them in the head, it's an instant kill. Yeah. <laughs> they still don't know I'm here, which is hilarious. Crap. <laughs> I think that guy up top killed me. Um, so yeah, let's try a different weapon. Um, I don't know, let's try maybe the striker, the shotgun. I remember the striker in Modern Warfare 2, if anyone ever played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the striker was extremely powerful. I think it was powerful in Modern Warfare 3 as well, I could be mistaken on that though. Um, the striker, the AA-12, I think that's what it was called, and the uh, models, like 1867 or whatever it was called. Um, those were like the two, like three super overpowered shotguns that everyone used. This one. Uh, the striker doesn't seem to be that strong in this game. I mean, it's pretty strong close up, but it still takes like three hits to the head. Uh, so compared to other weapons, it's not that great. I mean, honestly, m most weapons in this game seem to kill you in like two or three hits in the head. So. Not really the greatest. I wish I could get up there. Like I wish I could like just rocket jump up there. <laughs> There's like no way to get into their spawn on this map. Uh, in most maps, you can like spawn camp a little bit. I think you have invincibility for like a couple seconds. Yeah, let me switch back to that sniper because th well, yeah, let's just switch back to the sniper. I was thinking about I'm um, just exiting the game so I can show you guys the other maps, but I think this game might be almost over. I don't really know. I don't know if it goes until the time runs out or if it just goes to like 100. Uh, we'll, we'll wait until we get to uh, score 100 to end this game. This weapon, I, I don't know. I'm not showing it off properly, but some people can like destroy with it. Oh crap, they're gonna be like coming after me, I'm scared. <laughs> I wish you would get like assist points. And I think someone just called me a hacker. <laughs> or called someone a hacker, I don't know. Yeah, someone's calling me a hacker. He called me a hacker because my gun shoots so fast compared to most guns and I can just hold it down and spray for so long. And people don't realize how much ammo this thing has. But uh, yeah, it's extremely strong. Yeah, like doing that from across the map is ridiculous. Um, I'm sorry if I sound kind of tired. I just woke, woke up like, like 30 minutes ago and I just felt like playing something small. <laughs> so, something just just for fun. Um, for a free-to-play game, this game is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it has a ton of negative reviews. I don't really know why. It's not really that bad. It's pretty fun in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for like an FPS that is just simple and just fun for like a short while, this is definitely a good game, um, especially being free, like, obviously. Um, so let's try using the SCAR, I haven't used that yet, it's the third premium weapon. 
Uh, honestly, I think the AK is probably the strongest assault rifle, so this scar isn't anything special. I can zoom in with it, but the sight is, like, stupid. Like, look how stupid that is. You might as well just blind fire. There's, like, no reason to aim in with it. Okay, um, uh, did you see that? That's uh, some crazy lag. Uh, I think I'll switch back to that heavy machine gun just because it's really fun to use. Um, I might try using the Deagle as well, the uh, pistol. There's a lot of different pistols, but I think the Deagle's the strongest. There's like a revolver that's really strong too. <laughs> just, see how ridiculous that is? I can just hold down the trigger and just like mow people down. <laughs> so, I'm sure like these people are getting mad. Okay, we're almost okay. We reached a hundred. I don't know how long this goes for. Does it even tell me? Maybe it just goes until the time runs out. I guess we'll just keep playing until the time runs out, um, and then I'll show you the other maps. <laughs> these people must be re like so mad. I'm just like spawn camping them with this crazy ass overpowered gun. I haven't seen like anyone else in this game have these weapons. Like it would show up in the top right corner and hold the weapons. There's a guy up there. Try throwing a grenade. Oh, that was a maybe a, I think that was a flash grenade. Oh, I just got like a double kill with a grenade. Oh my god, they have to be getting pissed. I'd be so mad right now if I was them. <laughs> all these Russians, if you look in the top right corner, they're all Russians. <laughs> like all dead. I'm about out of ammo though, I'm gonna have to use my deagle. I haven't even taken one shot. I've gotten like eight or nine kills and I haven't even gotten hit once. I think the other team is quitting. Let me look at the deagle. No, they're still there. All right, so I have my deagle. If I get a headshot with this, I think it's a one hit kill. <gasps> that was that was an amazing shot. It wasn't a headshot, but I don't know. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. It was just like a quick reflex. Oh, it didn't kill him. Or did it? Ten kill streak. It gave me the ten kill streak, but I don't know if I killed him or not. I guess I did. I'm not sure. There's also a me like melee weapons. There's only like two melee weapons. There's like the shovel and the axe. I've never used it, and I don't think I ever will. I mean, <laughs> they swing so slow, and it's just not worth it. I'm gonna try using the deal again. Seems like my team is just like completely destroying them. Oh, oh, the luck. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's one of those games where, like, you know, everyone who's playing is just a bunch of kids. And you just want to feel good about yourself, so you join. Like, you know, these are all, like, inexperienced players who, like, probably suck in the game and have, like, terrible computers and are probably playing on their phones. Um, and it seems like the game ended and we won mainly because of my score 30 kills nine deaths and you get experience and you level up when you level up you get to uh, Buy new weapons. There's like some weapons you can unlock not a whole lot, but there's uh, quite a few um, So yeah, that was kind of fun So let's go ahead and join another game um, But yeah, I'm not trying to like overplay it um, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to say like this game is amazing. I'm just trying to say that it's free, it's fun, and it's enjoyable, um, at least to me. Um, <laughs> it's not as like competitive or hardcore as Counter Strike is. It's just like a really fun little casual game that you can play for a very short amount of time. I think Assault is free for all. I could be mistaken on that though. Uh, let's try joining it and see. Yeah, this is a free-for-all map. 
So there's no teams. Everyone is just on their own. I don't see anyone though. There might not be a whole lot of people on the server. Unless it just started. I guess it just started. <laughs> I think he tried to hit me or something. I don't know what that was. Yeah, it seems like everyone like just joined the game. So this is like free for all. This is just a, another map. I'm gonna quit out of this shortly. I just want to show you like the other maps. This weapon is just extremely strong. Um, there's other weapons that take a little bit more skill, like the assault rifles and uh, the pistols and stuff. I think I might try using the Deagle one more time, just because like it's enjoyable. What the heck are they doing? Oh, I think one guy was trying to sneak up on another guy. See, they have invincibility when they spawn. It's only like a couple seconds. And now you can see how bad my shots are. I killed him. <laughs> yeah, the Deagle's a one-shot kill. It's a pretty strong pistol. It's kind of ridiculous. Some weapons are a lot stronger than others. I guess I can try out like the normal weapons, like maybe, maybe this one. And you'll get a sense of like the difference between premium weapons and normal weapons. Uh, normal weapons, like, they have much lower ammo, and they take a little bit longer to kill, I think, anyway. But the AK, and whatever weapon that guy was using, uh, most people use that weapon, and they're really good with it. I've seen some, like, really good players using the AK and the, uh, I think the M4A1. Uh, if you get headshots with them, they kill you so fast in, like, three minutes. But yeah, I mean, I'm using a normal weapon now. It's it's not like it's a huge advantage using premium, but as long as you get headshots, every weapon seems to kill in a very, very fast like rate. Um, so I'm going to exit the battle. You can quit at any time. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you quit, though, you don't earn experience. You only earn experience if you finish the game, uh, which makes sense. Let's play at the cemetery. There's a bunch of different maps. One map, it's like a there's like a bridge and there's like two... Oh, it's not like that. Uh, there's a, there's one sniping map that was kind of cool that I might try out later. So I'm what red team. Oh, I'm getting spawn killed. All right, let's uh, switch back to my overpowered machine gun and let's uh, destroy these guys. Look at this. Why is there a picture of a cat on the wall? <laughs> Spray and pray. I was missing, missing like all my shots. Doesn't matter. I could probably like sit right here. Yep. Camping. Camping faggot. I'm gonna try using the deagle again. I mean... <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, if someone who is good at like Counter-Strike wants to pick up this game, and if you're good at aiming, you could actually dominate with the freaking Deagle. I mean, people are afraid of this gun. Like, I think some people think I'm hacking it just because this gun is so freaking ridiculously overpowered. <sighs> but, uh, I'll try one more life on this map and then I'll maybe uh, try out a different map. I just want to give you like a good sense of what this game is about. Um, the developers were nice enough to send me the DLC, so I think I might as well like give it a fair shot. Um, and I think I am, honestly. This game's really fun. That guy, okay. It looks like one of the skins, like there's red team and blue team, but I think one skin is hard to tell the difference. Like, if you look at that guy, he's like not red or blue, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I could change my skin to that too, but I think that's a little bit unfair. So this is the spawn point, the gravesite room, I guess. I'm gonna run over this way. Oh, oh, oh. There's gonna be another guy coming around this corner. What? He didn't die? Okay, I guess it takes three shots to the body with the deagle. I thought it took two. But uh, I think it's just one shot to the head. <laughs> oh my god, that sucked. Uh, Alright, let's uh, quit out of that. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like the worst... Uh, like the worst... Like, mouse and keyboard shooter 
skill level or whatever. I want to say I'm like the worst at these games, but I'm definitely not great. Uh, if you see me play Counter Strike, you would see how awful I am. Uh, people in Counter Strike are extremely fast. I cannot keep up. Have we played Vulcan? I think we did. Port. Let's see what port is. I haven't I haven't played port. Oh wait, yeah, I have. This is another uh, free for all game. Um, yeah, nothing special here. Someone shoot me from behind. <laughs> God, killing everyone. I think someone's getting pissed. I, I, I'm pretty sure if you translate some of these chat boxes, people are going to call them like hackers. Uh, it's like spray and pray noob or whatever. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to leave. Um, let's see, let's try like one more. Oh yeah, this is the bridge. I just want to show you this map real quick, because this is the first map I ever played in this game, and it's actually quite enjoyable. Um, it's a sniping map, uh, so I should probably choose a sniper, like the Barrett, or maybe maybe I'll try using this one with my uh, Christmas theme. Uh, you can only uh, change your weapons after you die, or when you join the game, or in the main menu, but uh, I can't change it like since I already started. Um, but yeah, this is a sniping map. It There's a bunch of snipers that go up these towers, and they hide in the towers, and snipe across the map. So if I die like instantly, that's the reason, and there's a guy like way over there. can't shoot that far, I guess. Damn. <laughs> what is this guy doing? It's like drowning. <laughs> oh, here's my Christmas theme. That looks really cool. I like that. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you what you're supposed to do on this map. You're supposed to go into this door and you're supposed to climb up. There's multiple floors. Like, I can stop at this floor. And I can, like. What the fuck? There's a guy over here. And I can, like, snipe through this window shot and some people go at the very top but it, I think that's a bad idea uh, I think someone else sniped me from the exact same location I was on the opposite side of the map but uh personally I think it's a bad idea to go all the way up because everyone like on both teams go all the way up and then you're just like guaranteed to get shot from the other side so I think there's a guy right here oh I think we killed each other yeah we killed each other takes a little while for the bullet to like travel across the map, so <laughs> a lot of times you do end up killing each other. Uh, but yeah, fun game. Fun, fun, fun. Not a whole lot to it, but it's enjoyable. It reminds me of a game called Blockstorm, if anyone's ever heard of that. If you look up Blockstorm on Steam, it's very similar to this, except that game has like no population at all. Oh wait, I am a red team. Oh, there's a blue team right here. What the heck? I couldn't hit him for some reason. Oh crap, he saw where I was. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what to do now. <laughs> I could try using the deagle one more time. Just, I don't know, it's really fun using the deagle because I mean, if you miss, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> you have to get that first shot, but if you get kills with it, it feels awesome. I don't like using the sniper just because there's a lot of like lag. Like when, when you shoot, like I can shoot across the map and then I don't know. There we go. I mean, it takes like a, a couple seconds when you shoot across the map to, to know if you shot him or not. Crap. Oh, we killed each other. See? Oh, wait, someone else shot me. <laughs> but yeah, this is the sniper map. Uh, kind of cool. The map, the match just ended anyway. So this is a good point to end this little video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm, uh, I guess I'm sorry if I sound a little tired or whatever, a little mundane. But uh, yeah, just a fun little casual game. Uh, it's enjoyable. It was something that like, um, something to play for a little while. That was just you know you play when you're bored and it's just fun. Uh, I guess I could show you guys real quick before I go some more case openings. I mean, everyone likes case openings, right? <laughs> Even though you don't really... I don't know. I think the difference between, like, games like this and Counter-Strike is, like, the rewards don't feel 
as rewarding just because you know you're not paying real money for them. Like in Counter Strike, you're paying real money, and you know those skins can be sold on the market for real money. Um, but this game, you're just, I don't know, I'm not paying anything for these. I mean, some of the skins look kind of cool, I suppose, but there's not a whole lot. Um, it's just a very basic game. Do one more. And there we go. Why do we keep getting them? <laughs> I'm not sure if I had all these. Oh, I guess like... Okay, never mind. Alright, that's all of our case openings. Um, it, there's ammunition locked. I don't know why they're locked. I have no idea what that says. This is like... It's kind of strange that there's Russian text in this game when most of it's in English. I don't know if that's just me. Need level $10,000. Early access. What? Oh, okay. So I just unlocked the ammo pack. How do I unlock the medkit pack? Oh, okay. So I just unlocked the medkit pack. Oh, that's how people stay alive for so long. Okay. This changes everything. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys didn't see it, but in some previous games, people were like absolutely dominating. And I was wondering, like, are they hacking? Because I would shoot them, and then they would kill me. And then I would shoot them again, and then they would kill me. And I'm like, how do they have so much health? And it's because of this. Med kits and ammo packs. Um, yeah, these would be extremely useful. Like, if I were to play this game again, I would just stock up on these freaking med kits. I would get, like, tons of them, and then I would just survive forever. Because <laughs> um, as you could tell from the game, you don't actually regenerate uh, health. So med kits would be so freaking useful. I could probably survive the entire game if I had med kits. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I'm just rambling on now. So thanks for watching. Just a quick look at Kaboom. Uh, free to play. You don't have to pay for any pay anything for it. So it's a fun game if you just want something like casual. If you're bored and you're looking for a game to play, uh, definitely worth it. Um, the DLC really isn't anything special. Just some skins and three premium weapons. Unless you really want to be like kind of, I don't know. I felt like I was kind of cheating um, with that LMG. The uh, it's called like a Pushinknik or something. Peshnig, Pushing. I don't know. This LMG right here, very, very strong, pretty OP, probably the most OP weapon in the game. Uh, other than that, the game is pretty well balanced in my opinion. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description below to the Steam store page. So check that out. And thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching my channel and have a nice day.